name is David Wicks. I'm Vice President of the NASDAQ OMEX Group. And it's truly my great pleasure to welcome the University of Texas at Austin Venture Labs Investment Competition and Innovative Designs, the 2014 Global Champion to ring today's closing bell right here from Times Square, New York. Innovative Designs is one of 38 teams from 12 countries that competed in this year's competition. We're excited to have you all here today. I like to start each ceremony with a big round of applause. I know you guys are caffeinated. And I stand between you and wherever you're going after this. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Now we're a big round of applause. of Texas at Austin by MBA students way back in 1984, the Venture Labs investment competition has become the oldest venture competition literally in the world. The event provides graduate students with a chance to simulate the real world process of raising venture capital. 2014 marks the 12th consecutive year that the global champion has actually closed uh, the market and NASDAQ Gold Max is obviously proud to be associated with what we would call the Super Bowl of world business plan competition. Innovative Designs uh, has developed a disposable radio frequency ablation, or RFA probe, that can be used intraoperatively to destroy residual cancer left after the removal of breast tumor, thus reducing or eliminating the need for future operations for radiation therapy. That sounds very complicated, <laughs> but good. <laughs> The technology was developed by a team of surgeons and graduate students at Northwestern University. So congratulations to the University of Texas at Austin Venture Labs Investment Competition and Innovative Designs on all of your continued success. We're proud to be your partner working together, driving that innovation and new ideas. And now it's my pleasure welcoming Rob Adams, Director of Venture Labs Investment Competition to the podium. Rob, can you join me? Thank you, David. Very well said. Uh, the only thing I'd like to add is, first of all, thank you for NASDAQ and their sponsorship over the years, not only their financial backing, but the privilege and honor of being able to, to do such a great event here on site. I'd also like to thank our sponsors, Accenture, who is here, and Wells Fargo. Um, those companies combined with NASDAQ make, make it possible for us to do and run this kind of successful program. I'm not going to add a whole lot more to that. I'm going to invite up Innovative Designs to come and take the podium. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, everybody uh, at UT Austin's Venture Labs Investment Competition. Thank you, NASDAQ, and thank you to our family and friends both here uh, and at home. Innovative is an interdisciplinary team of individuals dedicated to innovating the treatment of a variety of problems in medicine, particularly breast cancer care. But we would not have gotten here today without the support and the intense dedication and collaboration of our home institution, Northwestern University. Um, so we can't go any further without thanking Northwestern's Kellogg School of Management, especially Linda Darrow, the McCormick School of Engineering, especially Mike Morasco, the Feinberg School of Medicine, especially Drs. Mavi and McCarthy, uh, the NU School of Law, as well as INVO, the Tech Transfer Office, their CD2 program, and the Chicago Innovation Mentors Network, and Sam's Out. It was a long road to get here, and, and even to Texas, and therefore we can't go any further without also thanking the NCAA and Venture Wall programs, University of Manitoba Stu Clark Investment Competition, Oregon's New Venture Championship, the Rice Business Plan Competition, and Stanford Basis Product Showcase. And so with that, we graciously thank you for being with us here today and sharing in the future success of Innovative. Thank you. Hey guys. So, uh, so when you go public, you're actually going to get one of these? So I'm just going to put this on you now. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, this, uh, obviously we're proud. Uh, this is what drives the economy. This is what drives NASDAQ. So on behalf of everyone we're proud to present you guys with, I'm not that close to the